Well, it's a project to unearth history and restore respect and dignity to a cemetery in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Ground penetrating radar being used at a local burial ground so the graves of some African Americans who escaped slavery in the U.S. can once again be identified and acknowledged. Kelly Botello has details. Back and forth. Ground penetrating radar is being used to identify graves here at this burial site on Mississauga Street in Niagara on the Lake. As it stands now, those who pass by might never realize that several African Americans who escaped slavery in the U.S. are buried here. Respect for the living and respect for the dead. This is not respect. James Michael Russell, who is from Toronto, has been visiting this burial ground for decades and was always saddened by the fact that up to 47 people might be buried here, but their graves are not marked in any way. Their names and stories lost. That's why he's put up $2,500 of his own money to find the graves and identify the people. The graveyard began uh, to be used around uh, 18... 1830s and at some point all of the graves markers disappeared. Currently only three headstones stand on this entire plot of land. Organizers say some may have sunken into the ground, other headstones were stolen. I've been told that they were actually stolen. Uh, they were removed by residents to be used for uh, paving stones and foundations. The radar will map out the area and identify anomalies in the ground. We take all the data that we collect and we put it together and we get a shape. And if it's three to four feet wide, seven to eight feet long, it's probably a burial. Steve Watson is the ground penetrating radar technician who has worked on many historical burial sites. He, along with the Lord Mayor of Niagara on the Lake, say these sites must be acknowledged. I think it's a significant piece of our history. So we're very hopeful that they will find uh, the number of people that are buried here, but we're even more hopeful that they will find out who they are. To identify the people buried here, Russell says he will have to dig through Baptist archives at McMaster University, as there was once a Baptist church on this land. The process could take years, but he's hopeful respect and dignity will be restored to this important site. Kelly Botello, CHCH News.